joining us tonight in a prime time exclusive, the parents of Morgan Harrington speaking out to Dr. Dan Harrington and Jill Harrington. To the two of you, thank you so much for being with us. I know that this has been a nightmare, a nightmare that you just don't wake up from. No. This has been this has been a horrific three month period, and there is some closure now. and And because of that, we do have, I think, some peace. But we now have a different uh, agenda. We need to find out who did this. I can't imagine, having been a crime victim myself, going through that period of time or any period of time not knowing what happened to the person I loved. At least I knew immediately what had become of him. But not so in your, in your case. What was the worst part of these three months? For me, um, it, it was getting harder to hold back the thoughts and the fill in the blanks of what might be happening to Morgan at any point in the day. You'd be thinking, it's cold outside. Is she chained in the shed out somewhere in the cold? Does she have food? What is he doing to her? For 101 days, you're constantly thinking these thoughts. Uh, it was getting harder to hold them back. That takes a tremendous amount of psychic energy uh, to not wallow in those thoughts and to try and search for your daughter. Now we know where she is. We know she died early on probably the day she was taken. She had 20 wonderful years. She had one terrible day. I, I can handle that. She did have those wonderful years because by all accounts, everyone that knew her universally says how close she was to her mother and father. Do you recall, Jill, the very last words you had with her before she left for the concert? Yeah. The last thing Morgan said to me was our family lingo uh, of a little um, shortness of I love you, two, four, one. I love you too much, forever, and once more than forever. And she said as she was walking out the door, two, two, four, one, mama. Those were her last words to me. To Dr. Harrington, I know, as you just told us, this is not the way you wanted the search for your daughter to end. What has been the hardest thing that you have gone through for over 100 days now? I think the hardest thing that I've gone through is knowing that Morgan had such potential. We had just an incredible summer. I called it the miracle summer with Morgan. And things, she was really at the top of her game. And I think with her going missing that night in Charlottesville, and for the last three months, I replay kind of what happened over the last summer and how wonderful it was. And it, it, it brings tear to, tears to my eyes, um, and probably will tonight too. Mr. Um, Dr. Harrington, what was that miracle summer? What were the miraculous things that happened? You know, it was just, it, it was the kind of a summer when you, um, you have an adult relationship with your, your child. Uh, we had uh, great vacations, and Morgan actually worked with me. We were starting a new medical school here, and she worked with me at the medical school. Uh, and so it was kind of nice to be in meetings with her and, and see her in a professional role and for her actually to kind of see the work that I did. And um, we actually spent every night here in, the, here in the family room with her. You know, she could have gone out with friends, and she actually did spend every night with us uh, and, and uh, watch TV, and, and she was satisfied to be part of the family. It truly was, uh, it was a blessing, and um, somehow maybe that was given to us um, by the Lord, knowing that something else was coming down the path here. You know, Dr. Harrington and Jill, it's amazing to a lot of people that you still have such a strong faith in the Lord because a lot of people would be angry and turn their backs on God right now, but you're not doing that. 
Well, there's always a reason for something. And I, I think as Jill reminds me, and she does have to remind me frequently, that we're not given more than we can, uh, than we can carry on our shoulders. I want to help you as best that I can pursue your new goal, and that is seeking justice. Tell me, Dr. Harrington, it's my understanding that you believe that the person that killed Morgan is from the Charlottesville area. Why do you think that? Well, I, I think that they're in the Charlottesville area because when these things happen, they're, they're, they're really probably not random. You know, it's someone who, needs, who is uh, familiar with the area and where Morgan was found, there's absolutely no way that someone just randomly went there. They knew that part of the county. They knew that farm.